Hey guys. Um, I talked about a little bit in another video, in a previous video, one of the previous ones, uh, that I sometimes after New Year will start the Ruko Mania series again because I wanna get better, still wanna get better at picking Rukos, of course. But first, before we take a look at the Rukos that I have in my pocket now to learn, I also got two other locks in. This one, which I think is really cool, this um, combination lock. And uh, I guess that's a previous combination, but I have tried and it's not the combination now. So we'll see if we can get that open at some point. And also this, I have one of these in my collection. I don't remember what it is. And I think most of that is just on the surface. Uh, it is from Germany. Oh yeah, it's a perk. It's a perk. Uh, but it is a bit crusty, but it does work. It's a perk and it does work. Haha. <laughs> So that is probably going to be part of the Christmas series. And I just now realize I don't know if this video is going to be uploaded before or after the Christmas series. But yeah. <laughs> Here is all of the Rugos to pick. Oh, one had snuck away. So let's see that one and those two. And that one, and that one. So these five, you can't see them there down here. Let's move the camera a bit. These five are six pinners. So classic 600s. These two have not the worst bidding I have seen. Um, this one is relatively flat, where this one in my opinion, is a little worse to pick, for me anyway. Um, but still, not too bad. And then I have three here, which is systems. So they, it's not the typical 600 keyway, but it's still a six pinner. But they're relatively flat in the bidding. So I think I have a pretty good chance at getting these three open with some, some training. And that will get me started and get me onto these two. And that means after that I have picked five, six pinners, Ruko six pinners. So I think that is a good start. Stop that. Yeah, let me just take a look here. What do we have? Where is it? Here it is. I have a Ruko 700, I believe. It's a seven pinner. So it is a little longer then a 600 <laughs> just a notch longer one more pin i would guess the pins in there is the same as the 600 but uh, just an extra pin i don't know if that's the next step but you know just it's there um if rune is watching he might know what it is but I have this, which is just Ruko as an alloy. Okay. But it does have, I think it's a, some slider stuff on the side. I don't remember what this one is. Maybe someone else also know, but yeah, if not, then boom. Um, then I also have a 1200. And I think that's a nasty pinning. Yikes. Um, then we have a Ruko Combi Plus. I have never tried to pick a sidebar, so that's going to be fun. And speaking of sidebar, we also have a Ruko Garant. A Garant. Damn. And almost all of these is going for my uh, collection afterwards. So, uh, yeah, it's only uh, some of the six pinners over here that that might, two or three of them might not go for my collection or my training pocket because these three with flat bidding or relatively flat bidding, I think at least two of those will go to my uh, training pocket. So I always know that I have some six pinners um, 
that are should be hopefully is a relatively easy to go to um that I can go back to if I ever you know get a get a burnout again or something then I have to get my uh, skills back up I can always go back to those uh and the rest here the 700 whatever that one is the grand combi plus and 1200 it's missing in my collection I actually took them out of my collection to put them in here to make a series years ago which I did start on some of you remember I started with that habo which is essentially a cheaper copy of a Ruko 600 and then I finally after a lot of attempts got that open Rune made some copies of this copy of a Ruko <laughs> that have been sent out and I have one more left but that is going to go in a giveaway um if it had I, I don't think it have happened already but yeah probably I think it's probably going to be in the um thousand subscriber giveaway so yeah, most of them here is going to go for my collection. And yeah, that's going to be fun. But even more fun, what I aim mostly for, I don't need, I don't feel a need to be able to pick a Garand or a Combi Plus or a 1200. As long as I can pick 500s and 600s, I'm actually really, really happy with my skills. I'm already quite happy with what I can do now, 500s uh, and 6 pinners, but not 6-pin Rukos. But getting some of these 6-pin Rukos open would really be a dream as well. Anything beyond that is not really anything I have a need for, but hey, I have them and... We can always just up our skills just because, right? <laughs> so yeah, look forward to that, because I definitely do. Um, where can I put these where they are not in the way, but also easy to get to? Maybe there. So yeah. Um, the reason I picked those out, by the way, again, is because of the relatively flat bidding. Uh, which I typically have a bit of feeling for. Uh, and I have a bunch, a lot of uh, um, of these six pinners without keys of those system versions. Not the 600 exactly, but the, uh, the six pinners of system keys. And they don't have keys, so I don't know the bidding. And... If they have not been sent out to people before then, then I might start picking those as well. Um, but I'm pretty sure those will be sent out before that. But again, I have five in my bucket. Three of them with, with quite flat bidding and two of them with a little bit more up and down, high low. Um, so I, I think I'm pretty good to go with just that and I think I have one or two in my collection that I have not taken out as well um, that I could also go for and I probably get some more in at some point so yeah I think I'm all good on that point anyway I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, everything so yeah thanks for watching remember skill always beats luck and have a great day